Hey, what's up everybody? Rajay back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another beer. Today I'm actually going to take a look at one from out of Belgium. This is from Lindemann's. It is their Frambo's Raspberry Lambic Beer. Now I've had Lindemann's, but it's been a long time ago. So this will be my first time sharing their beers here with the channel. This is one of the three that I'll be bringing to you over the next few reviews by the time you see this one. Uh, rich, sweet raspberry flavor and character, wild yeast fermentation, exceptional complexity. Two things I would say about the label. One, on the back side, as you can see there, is that they actually have a code. They don't have the date. And I think all breweries should have a date on their stuff. And the second thing is that they don't have the ABV. So I had to look this one up. And the ABV on this one is only 2.5%. So not one that's really going to try to tank you. But a lot of Lambics, if you're not familiar, are at lower ABV levels. Usually that 25 to 3% area. So nothing wrong with that. It's really about the taste with this kind of uh, beer as well. Uh, listed on the label here, crafted by Wind brewed through generations and it's a Lindemann's Frambo's Lambic made from local barley, unmalted wheat, raspberry juice, aged hops and wild airborne yeast. Spontaneous fermentation. True Lambics are rare. All come from one region about 15 by 75 miles in size over in Belgium in their uh, Seine River Valley. So that's what they mentioned about the beer. Uh, Lindemann's Brewery has been family owned since 1822. So Good amount of time in the uh, stuff they're actually making. And this was imported by Merchant Duvan out of Seattle. Let's get this baby in a glass and see what it has to offer. As I share this with you, speaking of glass, here is actually the glass that I picked up when I got the, uh, it was really a four bottle set, but one is a duplicate, which is the Frambos. And uh, pretty neat looking glass too. So I was happy to add that to the collection. And I figured I'll go ahead and christen it now with one of the beers before I put it up on the shelf with everything else. Ooh, a nice purple color with the beer as it comes out. Almost like a plumish, a plumish purple. But we have a nice purplish color to the beer, almost like a, a wine in color. Uh, the head itself came out to be about an inch, it's a half an inch now, so it does dissipate rather quickly, which you're used to with a lot of the sour type ales, but it has a nice purplish color tone to the head itself as well. Nice fruitiness, big burst of that raspberry. It just feels like there's a bowl of raspberries you're about to dive into. Get that tartness on the nose. You can tell it's gonna be a little bit of an acidity in play, but just oh so nice on the uh, on the aroma, taste wise. Oh. That's the tasty lambic. You get a nice feel of that sour tartness. You have some of the acidity in play. You have a little bit of an astringency, but that burst of the raspberry flavor opens up like freaking biting deep into a juicy raspberry or some type of raspberry type candy. Speaking of candy, it kind of reminds me of something like a sweet tart, not the uh, small sweet tarts, but the big sweet tarts where they were like in that three pack. You're getting a nice bite of raspberry flavor there. And then on the back end, you're hit with that tartness. Carbonation, definitely ramped up there. You get that feel of the raspberry juice as well, but you're getting a good amount of tongue prickling from the carbonation in play. You definitely feel the bubbles, almost adding a little bit of an effervescent type feel to the beer. It does feel like a raspberry juice almost because you have so much of that juiciness that's coming through from the raspberry juice they added here. On the back end, on the finish, it goes down rather easily. You're left with a little bit of a mouth coating as well of the raspberry. The flavor just pops in this beer. It's got a great explosion. As far as the finish, the finish is nice on this one. It has have a little bit of a smoothness after that acidity kind of drops out. If you are a sour fan, I would definitely recommend checking this one out or some of the other Lambics out there. But Lindemann is known as being kind of that top Lambics producer. But if you like sours, this is like freaking liquid candy. I would definitely say you want to give this one a shot or any of the other ones of this style. Very tasty, very uh, well put together and easy to see how they've lasted as long as they have. But uh, a nice one here for sure. 
Again, we're looking at the uh, Len Lindemann's Frambos Raspberry Lambic Beer. Just oh so, oh so tasty. If you've had this one, let me know what you think by leaving a comment in the comment section. Love to hear your guys' view on it as well. If there's any other Lambics you've tried out there that you want to share, feel free to let me know that too. That being said, I will look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.